Hi, I'm Ali, and I'm going to be declaiming chapter 43 from Prince Harry's book, Spare. The Declamations is one of Radley's oldest traditions. Declamations primarily is a competition where everyone in the school performs something from the English language. Now more than ever seems it rich to die. It's a time for when every, the, all the year groups can kind of come together. It's left deliberately vague um, to allow for whatever makes that individual person uh, feel like what they have to say is more significant to them. I think, I think it's a really great opportunity to just like give you a hint of drama because I didn't think I would do, I would want to do drama until Declamations. A way that somebody could express themselves through something that they wouldn't usually do. I believe that it's an absolute necessity, otherwise we're depriving the world of, of the next Charlie Parker or, or Louis Armstrong. It's, um, it's a really fun thing that everyone in the school gets involved in and um, it's one of Radley's oldest traditions and it's really good I think for everyone to have a go at something that they wouldn't necessarily do without uh, this, uh, this event. Well, I chose The Twelve Days of Christmas by John Julius Norwich and it was more of a comic piece. A lot of the pieces in Declamations are very dramatic and really draw the audience in, but I tried, tried just to make them laugh. This is the last straw. You know I detest bagpipes. The place has become something between a menagerie and a madhouse and a man from the council has just declared it unfit for habitation. And then uh, it was a piece that was read out at my parents' wedding, and um, they were they their wedding was on the 19th of December, and the main two protagonists in the poem are Edward and Emily. Edward sending the gifts to Emily, and my parents' names are Edward and Emily, so it was quite a fitting, fitting story. I did a piece called Paper People, which is a poem, sort of a spoken verse sort of thing with a lot of tongue twisters, things like that. I would probably prop up proper pop up purple paper people with a proper pop up purple paper people paper clip. I think the most important thing for any declamation is that it has to stand out and be remembered. So I'd say know your character, um, but only choose a character that you like and that you want to play. Work together. So me and Kumar, who is another finalist, we did a Ronald Reagan speech, was we did a lot of, we did so many rehearsals together, like on Sundays we would do so much, like all last week we were like so into it. And it was really fun. I think we got it so perfect that every four years we just have to stick in another day just to make sure it still works. We call it February 29th. Bullshit, it's March 1st and I know it. Have fun with it, because it's a really fun thing in the end of the day, I'd say. It's not acting as such, but there are some overlaps with acting, in the sense that you have to assume a character and really feel and understand what that character is feeling. Telling somebody to actually give it all they've got, even if they don't get into the semi-finals, it's still the fact that they've tried their hardest. That's probably the most important thing that they could do. Yeah, I was really happy. It's nice. It's, it's, it's a nice thing to achieve and it's, yeah, above all, it's nice to know that people enjoy what you've done. I described the cascading dysfunctions. Everything's difficult, Doctor. I was sort of losing it, I told him. He gave me a full examination, which was more than invasive. No stone unturned, so to speak. The likeliest cure, he announced at last, would be time. What do you mean, time? Time, he said, heals. Really, Doctor? That hasn't been my experience. I, I can feel proud of what I've done, and I enjoyed it above all. The Victor Lodorum of 2023 is Ali Noble.